Now, uh, we have one more property. I just want to make you familiar with one more term and that term is basicity. And this basicity term is related to an asset. So, basicity of an asset. So, what do we mean by this term basicity of an asset? It means that when we add acid to water, you know that we get to have the hydrogen ions. So, basicity of an acid indicates that how many uh, H ions do we get when we add acid to the water. So, basicity just indicates the number of H ions produced when acid is added to the water. So, that means the number of H ions which we get when we dissolve acid into the water just indicate the basicity. So, depending upon the number of H ions which an acid gives when it is dissolved in water, uh, so like depending upon that we have different types of acids. So, one is monobasic acid, we have the diabasic acids, we have tribasic acids or we can classify as polybasic acid. Right. Now, what is the difference between them? See, if any acid dissolved in water and give one hydrogen ion, right? So, that means it is regarded as monobasic in nature. And if an acid dissolved in water to give two hydrogen ions, it is said to be dibasic. And likewise, if it produced three hydrogen ions, it is said to be tribasic. And more than three, we call, it, call them as polybasic acid. So, do you have any like if you, you are familiar with the, the formula of many acids now. So, do you have uh, the uh, this thing any example which is striking you in your mind as monobasic, dibasic. So, yes uh, just look at the board like we have HCl right. When I will dissolve this HCl in water what do I get? I get one H ion and one Cl negative. So, that means one uh, this HCl is going to produce one H ion. So, that means it is an example of monobasic and similarly we have this sulfuric acid. How many H ions do you get to see here? Yes, you are right. There are two H ions. So, it will be giving the two H ions in the two different steps. See, if any uh, the acid contains two or more H ions, it do not split to give all H ions in one go. It do it step, uh, step by step. But actual number of H ions like the ability of an acid to give H ions is just indicated by its basicity whether it gives in one go or it gives in different steps. So, as it contains two H ions, so it will be giving two hydrogen ions, so it is regarded as dibasic. Similarly, this phosphoric acid, tribasic and more than three, we just get to have the polybasic acid. So, this is actually the basicity. So, if somebody asks you about an basicity, what we are going to answer? It is just, uh, you can say the number of H ions which an acid produce when it is dissolved in water and depending upon that number, we classify it under the monobasic, dibasic, tribasic or polybasic, right.